Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. It has now been nearly two months since the tragic bus crash that shook the town of Humboldt, taking the lives of 16 members of the town's junior hockey team and leaving 13 injured. Many of those who survived the accident are in intense recovery processes, including 19-year-old Ryan Strashnitsky. In Calgary earlier this week UFC brawlers Eddie Alvarez and Dustin Poirier along with WWE legend Bret Hart visited Strashnitsky at the Foothills Medical Center in Calgary, before the teenager flew to Philadelphia for specialized spinal rehabilitation. The Humboldt strong slogan on the back of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders helmets is close to veteran defensive tackle Eddie Steele's heart. On February 16, Steele met with Humboldt's coaches and was also scheduled to address the players after a 4-3 loss to the host Nipahin Hawks. Steele, who was in the area as part of a week-long faith tour with Riders chaplain Jared Lacoste, changed his plans after the defeat. Humboldt Broncos stats keeper predicted Vegas Golden Knights would reach the Stanley Cup final. The vice principal at Humboldt High School would chat each day with the stats keeper about sports and remembers the student making a bold hockey prediction last September. He said the Vegas Golden Knights were going to be the first expansion team to win the Stanley Cup. Five days after the crash the Golden Knights hit the ice in their first National Hockey League playoff game, setting off an improbable Stanley Cup run that has landed them in the finals in the team's inaugural season. Diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome, a high-functioning form of autism was described after his death as a gentle giant who went to church every Sunday volunteered at a soup kitchen and participated in the Special Olympics. He was also a math whiz with a remarkable memory. He followed several sports and carried notebooks filled with team analysis. He brought some of the books with him to a career class the vice principal taught and gave a presentation about wanting to work as a general manager, analyst or scout in the NHL. He also got a volunteer job last fall with the town's radio station to keep stats for the Broncos. It was around that time the grade 12 student predicted the Knights would win it all, well before the NHL season had started. The stat keeper was right about an expansion team never winning the finals. No modern era expansion team has won the cup. The Philadelphia Flyers part of the 1967 expansion claimed it in 1974. It's pretty much two months after the Humboldt Broncos crash and still no new information has been released regarding the truck driver, bus driver, the investigation, the trucking company, or anything else relating to the collision. All of the reports have came back from the analysis from the boxes that were sent to California for further analysis. But that was a month ago and nothing has been reported since. What possibly can the RCMP be hiding from the media as well as ourselves? Why is it taking so long to release any information obtained from all the analysis or the investigation? The highway has remained open ever since the RCMP did a ray enactment a month ago to determine further evidence. Again nothing has been said after this as well. Speculations of the truck driver has been circulating around the internet. But no new updates have been said about the driver and the trucking company since the day of the crash. Last we heard was the trucking company had to remain grounded until the investigation is over. So does this mean the company still isn't operating? Or is the investigation done and the trucking company is up and running again? So many unanswered questions still remain with no new updates or anything anymore. If the RCMP really did care about the victims then why is justice not being served and the public not knowing anything else about this case? We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.